Hey y'all, this is Deb, and I am here with my month four wrap up video. By the time I upload this video, we will be in month five, maybe one or two days into month five. Time is flying by, and um, we'll be through with this before you know it. So, last month we were supposed to take that opportunity to assess our hair, make sure that we didn't have any damage, you know, do your necessary treatments to build up your moisture level and, you know, get back protected. Well, I haven't had any damage, but I did have a hiccup. I had an issue. It was something that I did to my hair. So, if you want to know what happened, please keep watching. You can see, big hair, do care. Let me explain to you why my hair is so big. Because my hair is dry and my hair is hard. I've managed to spiral into some protein overload and I want to share with you guys why. And it wasn't the products, it was the process. So as you all know, I purchased the uh, new uh, line of the um, Shea Moisture products. And these products have hydrolyzed keratin in it. Hydrolyze means small particles. So what it is, is it's a small, uh, it's the keratin broken down into small pieces so that could filter into your hair strand. Your hair is made up of protein. Protein is like hair food. So a protein moisture balance is required for healthy hair. So I wanted to try the products and the reason why I hadn't come back and reviewed the products because I do a protein treatment one week a deep conditioner and a protein uh, moisturizing conditioner the next week. So I had used these products week before last right after I did that haul video and when I did that haul video I had used the products. The mistake that I made I used the shampoo as well as the rinse out conditioner and I came behind both of those with the nourishing hair mask. The mistake that I made, and I am sharing this with you all because I come on here with everything good on my channel, but the mistake that I made, and I don't know how many of you all do this, is I started my hair late. I started doing my hair like about 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And when I put the mask on, I sat down and I got under my heat cap and I fell asleep. So my 30 minutes turned into 7 hours. I got up the next morning, took my hair down, and my hair felt some kind of way. I don't know how to explain it to you. Like straw, like hard, like rough, like not like my hair. So I decided I was just going to do a twisted pinup. Evolution of, Be Evolution of Beauty sent me a link to another YouTube channel because she knew, she knew I was running out of ideas. And the more I manipulated my hair, my hair was just coming out. And it wasn't your typical shedding. And it was hard. And so I, I knew what was going on. I knew I had some protein overload. I had protein and I have protein overload. So I ditched church because I just I couldn't go. My hair was looking a mess. It wasn't anything that I could do to do a recovery style. I didn't even feel comfortable putting, in, putting it up in the bun because it didn't feel right. So I did a detox. Because, you know, when you have protein overload, there are several things you need to do. You can shampoo with a clarifying shampoo. I did have a clarifying shampoo, but I chose to do a detox. Because you want to get all that product out of your hair. And after I did that detox, I did a good deep conditioner with the Bell Nouveau Deep Conditioner. And after I rinsed that out, I proceeded to use uh, my Wynobi Pumpkin Silk Seed Leave-In Conditioner. I don't know if that's the name. And I twisted with the coconut butter. So... This is the result of a flat twist out. And the reason why my hair is so big, that I got protein overload and everybody was giving me suggestions. Uh, Evolution of Beauty suggested that I come on here and record this because this could be something to help other YouTubers. I don't want you all to know. I don't want you all to think that every day is a perfect day in my natural journey. I've had mistakes. I've had setbacks. This is a small setback. You know, it can be salvaged. I don't think I'm going to have to cut my hair off. I'm just going to moisturize my hair like I would do back in the day when I was doing uh, henna. So that's why my hair is out. I need my hair out to really make sure that I'm assessing the situation. Um, right now, I have not shampooed my hair. I'm not doing any of that right now because I did take 
something away from that experience and that is I will not be doing my hair or starting my hair late at night anymore. I I fell asleep with the conditioner on my hair and that was a no no. It said 30 minutes. I slept for six or seven hours. So I've retwisted my hair with the um, Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. This has contributed to this successful twist out as everybody's saying. I'm having to get used to it because I'm not used to this big hair. I'm a little self-conscious. People are looking at me and I don't know what they're thinking but I'm a little self-conscious but I'm rocking it anyway. Like it's all that. Nobody knows how I feel about this but the people on the Facebook group and you guys definitely going to when I get some time hopefully in the next day or so I'm going to co-wash and I am going to do a deep conditioner and I'll have some honey and some olive oil and Jehovah oil and I'm gonna go do a real good deep conditioner and then I'm probably use my bask yam nectar and add all that with it I need some power punch moisturizer and uh, after that I'm gonna do an apple cider vinegar rinse and continue to monitor my hair when you experience protein overload is no real reason to panic because you can bring your moisture level back but you have to do a couple of deep conditioners a week and it takes about two weeks to turn that around share that with you this was something that i did it was not the product it was the process month five um you know we're just doing good to stay protected but i like to see you ladies jazz it up a little bit you know if you don't normally wear makeup you know kind of Experiment and play with your makeup, with your updos, add a scarf or, you know, a hair accessory or whatever else you're liking. And uh, I would like to see that. Uh, this month, everybody's doing so well. I really want to focus on the ladies that are doing it in the Facebook group. And they have been checking in. I want to send a shout out to those ladies. They're not making videos, but they're, you know, silently doing the protective style challenge with us and checking in by Facebook. So I want to thank them for participating. I really appreciate that. And also I want to thank the ladies that have already done their uh, month four wrap up video. I want to thank you all for being so d diligent with uh, staying on top of uh, everything with the protective style challenge. If you are having a hard time getting your water in, I said I was going to come back and show you guys, you know, give you some tips on that. And I got sick, you know, I'm not going to go through all that spiel. But what I'm doing is I'm cutting up a whole cucumber into a 64 quart like pitcher and I put it in the refrigerator overnight and oh my god when I tell you refreshing some of you may already know about that tip or other things that you might want to add to your water to help you get it in that works for me I wanted to share that with you because the water intake is very important for moisture for your hair from the inside out Thank you ladies for staying and doing this with me. Thank you for those that are watching the videos and continuing to provide your support. And as always, until my next video, you guys be blessed. Bye.